What is up, guys? Welcome back to Rob Squad Reactions with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. And we're back today with another reaction video suggested to us by you guys, our amazing RSR family. But real quick, if you are new here to the channel, make sure you stick around and smash that subscribe button down below and hit that post notification bell because we drop videos every single day. Every single day, three times a day. If you hit that bell, you will never miss a video. But real quick, I wanted to also let you guys know that, hey, you are so loved and appreciated and blessed every single day that you wake up. But, babe, let them know who we got today. Chubby Checker. <laughs> the song is The Twist. I knew you were going to make a face when I told you the name. Yes. Chubby Checker. Chubby Checker, The Twist. Hey, don't do okay. your book by its cover. Some Chubby Checker. There's not even a lot I need to say or mention about that. So let's get into some Chubby Checker. And what was the song called? The Twist. The Twist. Oh, this is old. <laughs> let's get into it. Thing called The Twist. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, here's Chubby Checker. Too. Chubby Checker. Come on, baby. First of all, that voice does not look like it comes out of this guy. Uh, no. Not one no, bit. But, okay, and sometimes I tell you guys I notice weird things about people's mm. voices that I like, like Karen Carpenter's, I like her clarity. I know that's weird, but I like how he projects his voice. Like, he sounds like his is coming from he, straight, like... No, he projects, he uh. projects his voice so well. Um, this sounds like a timeless song. The come on, do the twist part. I mean, that sounds right. a little familiar. So and a it's got to be like fifties. Yeah, and a little timeless. Probably maybe something we might have heard in elementary school because it sounds super, super pure. You know what I mean? Something right. that children could have listened to in the past because right. there's something about it that is familiar. Hey! His voice is just, it's like, I don't know the exact word, like, but it's, it, it's, it's got, it's got this tone to it where it's, that's, it's not like overbearing. Yeah. But uh, I, I hate it whenever, like, there's, I can't describe it, but it's not, a, it's, it's very pleasant. It's not a voice like we've heard before and it's cracking me up guys. Bria's back over here dancing. She well, hears the music. I tried to hit the twist mm. and she walked, turned around and walked out of the room for a minute and then came back. I thought I did a great job, but All apparently right. to your children, you can't dance. Let's get back to it. And do Okay, guys, drop down in the comments. How many of y'all did the twist? How many of y'all remember this playing and going out on the floor and doing the twist? Because if I heard this song, like, this might gives me soda pop shop feels. It does, just because of no, the time. No, it definitely soda but pop shop. But if I shop. heard this song, I would go out there, and regardless of if my children laughed at my twist, I would go out there and do the twist. So how many of y'all remember doing that? So, and the question I have is, like, in the 50s, did every male singer, like, did they all just wear suits whenever they sang? I just think that the the 
did you say the fifties? That well, I'm I'm guessing this is fifties. Fifties, sixties. It was 60s. A, that was just a much more modest, classical, mm. classy time, and I think that's just the expectation of men. And you know, women were expected to you know dress more modestly, right. more more a little bit more classy, I, and I think that's the same. See, for I the thought men. only crooners wore the whole like. I just think that, that yeah might just be the that, style. It, just just like just like the the style mm. for that era, or whatever, for sure. <laughs> Guys, I, I have I have a question real quick because this is one again that, that seems pretty old, and we reacted to one the other day that seemed really really old. It was Sister Rosetta Tharp. What is? Oh yeah. What is the first or I guess I should? What is the oldest music video? I don't know. That's tough. Like, but the, like the very first music video. Ever like I I, I want to react to that. Well, since you're on the topic mm. of older, um, mm. what the oldest songs we listen to, the Sister Rosetta mm. Tharp. You know how we always have been like, we want to know who the the father of rock right. and roll was. I read that in the comments that the Sister Rosetta was. Tharp. There yep. was no father or grandfather of rock and roll. It they was said her. Sister Rosetta. I was like, what? She she they they, they they said she was she was the godfather of kind of the the rock. Yeah, you know? but I think that's why I'm so fascinated with this era that we've been diving into quite a bit lately, just because it kind of is the roots and the beginning of everything else. No doubt. And about so it's it. kind of cool to see how it trickles yeah. down. And then, of course, like I said, I do like the mo- like this kind of the modesty of the music, mm-hmm. and you know all the different styles and sounds, and, right? No and, doubt about it. And her. just the time, I'm kind of I'm, I'm fascinated with the past and how you guys kind of the decades you guys got to kind of grow up in. Like we say, we're so jealous, but um, this it, that's been one of the fun parts for me. But um, Bria, come here. Bria saw our twist. Who do you think did the twist better in in the chair? Who did the tra- chair twist better, mommy or daddy? Um. <laughs> she wants to say neither so bad. <laughs> Guys, you better hurry and pick. I'm closing them out. Who? Mom? No, no nobody. One. Nobody. She gets right, zero. Nobody. That's okay. We'll, we'll both take it. We'll work on but it. Guys, that's gonna be end of today's video. As we always send y'all out here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. Remember, every single day that you wake up, you're blessed. And for you new subscribers, you gotta go every single day. Bria, let them know that goal every single day. To make somebody smile. To make somebody yes. smile. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>